Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a sliding glass animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Inside your edits window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a media clip that you wish to use in this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside the Media Pool Master Bin, find the thumbnail of the media file that you have chosen for this project. Left click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail when you hover your mouse cursor over this. This will open up the clip attributes. As we can see with this media clip that I've chosen for this particular project, this video clip comprises of 30 stills per second in accordance to the frame rate property in the menu. This data will help us determine later on where to apply animation effects to on our video clip. Click on the thumbnail of your video clip and drag this to the start of your edit timeline on Video Track 1. Return to your media pool, click and drag a duplicate of your media clip to the project timeline to Video Track 2, ensuring that both video clips are parallel with each other. The clip in Video Track 1 will show your original video file, whereas the clip in Video Track 2 will be used to create the sliding glass effect. Right click on the clip in Video Track 2 and go to Open in Fusion Page. Inside your Nodes panel, with Media in 1 selected, hold Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. Use the search box at the bottom to find the Rectangle tool. Click on this once and go to click on Add. Ensure that your Timeline pointer is referring to the very beginning of your video clip, Frame 0. This number can be manipulated manually by typing in a frame number or by repositioning the red pointer line on your preview timeline. With your rectangle one node selected and the timeline pointer at frame zero, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, we will use the properties below this to change the appearance of the rectangle shape on screen. What we ultimately want to create in this particular project is an angled rectangle shape which starts sliding from the right of the screen to the left after 2 seconds of video time. Change width to 0 0.07 and to ensure that the rectangular shape stretches across the whole canvas vertically, change height from 0 0.5 to 2. Change angle to minus 10. In order to ensure that this particular rectangle is positioned off screen at the very start of our video, we will alter the rectangle's horizontal coordinate, center x. I will change this to 1.11. The values that you apply inside the inspector window may vary depending on the resolution of the video that you have chosen for this project. We want the position and the size of the rectangle to alter as the animation plays. Therefore, we need to apply keyframe settings to the center and width properties under Inspector, so that we can apply these particular settings across a certain amount of time. Left click once in the diamond icons to the right hand side of center X and Y, and width, so that these change red. Using the timeline inside the fusion window, identify the frame number where you wish for your sliding glass effect to start from. I want this particular animation effect to start after 2 seconds of screen time. And since the frame rate we identified at the start of this tutorial was 30, we need to skip forward here to frame 60 to reach the 2 second mark. To set the starting point of this particular animation where the rectangle will change shape and position, we need to select the keyframe diamond icons once again next to the same two properties center and width. Ensure that the values inside the boxes next to the variable labels remain the same. Now skip forward on your timeline by one and a half seconds. In this particular example, I need to skip forward by 45 frames to frame 105, where my animation sequence will end. To ensure that the rectangle passes beyond the left side of the canvas, I will change center X to minus 0.22 and to expand the width of this particular rectangle, I will change width from 0.07 to 0.3. Scroll up and down in your preview window using your mouse and use the zoom settings to ensure that the whole rectangle appears off canvas. Although the glass movement sequence is now complete, the viewer will not be able to distinguish this on the preview sections of DaVinci Resolve. 
Therefore, we need to make more adjustments to the appearance of the glass itself. To help yourself as you're applying further fusion effects to your glass rectangle inside the fusion window, choose a frame number in between those where you applied keyframe settings so that the rectangle appears in the middle of the screen on your preview window. In this example here, I've chosen frame 80. With media in one selected, hold shift and press space and go to add a transform XF tool. To create a magnified close-up effect of your video content inside the glass rectangle, with your Transform OneNote selected, under Inspector and Controls, increase size from 1.0 to 1.3. With the Transform OneNote still selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Drop Shadow tool. To ensure that the shadow points to the right side of the canvas, I will change Drop Angle to minus 14. This will add a three-dimensional effect to your glass rectangle. With Drop Shadow 1 selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Soft Glow tool. To add a gentle glow to the brighter areas of your video clip, decrease Gain to 0.2. Finally, as an optional effect, in order to create a frosted glass look, with Soft Glow 1 selected, hold in Shift and press Space once again, and go to add a Gaussian Blur tool. With Gaussian Blur 1 selected, under Inspector and Controls, change Horizontal and Vertical Strength to 0.3. If you are not satisfied with the blurred look and want more clarity to your glass effect, simply remove this Gaussian Blur tool by selecting the node and pressing Backspace or Delete. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.